What's up, everybody? What's going on? <laughs> Joe O'Brien here from the Glass Cannon Network, getting in a little brand new video gaming. Well, this is not a brand new video game. Uh, it's been around for a while, but I have never played it, and uh, I am excited at the proposition. Um, I don't know that much about it, actually, and I figured I'd start out a playthrough on uh, on the Twitch, so I hope everybody's doing well and uh, is willing to try this out with me. I don't know how many of you guys know this game. Uh, oh, what's going on, Little Red? Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in on this Sunday afternoon. I don't know how many of you guys already know this game, but um, I have never played it before. Hold on. Sorry, I got to do a little uh, desktop management here. Um, McGoogles, what's going on? Urgent Sandwich. Welcome to the stream. This this is a new one for me. I actually had this game on my wish list for a while on Steam, and it just popped up uh, as being on sale. And so uh, for like nine bucks and some change. So I bought it, and uh, I'm excited to check it out. What's going on? Oh, thank you, Little Red. Thank you for the congratulations. Yes, just had a little guy, and uh, he's actually sleeping right now. So shh. Everybody be quiet. Uh, I might have to stop the stream at any point. Game name here. What's going on? Yanni Yahum. Welcome. I'm starting a new playthrough of this game, uh, which I just got yesterday, and I turned on, fired it up. Um, thank you for those of you that are that are hosting. Much appreciated. Uh, I am I'm excited to check it out. Uh, I, I hear really good things about it, and so let's just jump right in. Um, I started it. I played maybe 20 or 30 minutes of it. Uh, that was about it. And um, and so I'm going to start a new game for those of you that hadn't seen it yet. How much of you guys? Uh, how much you? How many of you guys have seen this one before or, or know of it? I mean, to me, I had never even heard of it before. I know Skid hadn't heard of it before, so we were kind of. Uh, oh, sorry. Select desired game difficulty. Normal is good for me. Momentary Madness, what's going on? I have it, but haven't played it very much. Okay. Tron, welcome. And congratulations on your newborn baby, too. That is awesome. In another place, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. Pursue the dragon. So this is kind of the tutorial uh, here. The dragon's roost is just beyond. See, I did go through some of this, so I know I'm going to put on a lantern. How cool is that? Strap a lantern to the old belt. They just kind of throw you right into the mix here in this tutorial and put you, I think, at a later level. I'm not sure what level uh, this guy is, but just getting started. Unstable Hamster, welcome. Played it multiple times, huh? Good. That's That's promising. It's promising news. Yeah, I really didn't know anything about it, but once I started reading up on it after I bought it, I mean, it seems like something I'd really like. People rave about it. I mean, the people that love it, love it. Anything where you can chop up some goblins, come on. What is this? Oh, nice. A little teamwork there with... Uh, is that Salde or Sald? Welcome, Belladora. Thank you for the congratulations. Much appreciated. Pay. <laughs> oh, what, what am I supposed to do? Jump? All right, there we go. I have a two-year-old who should be napping right now, but is very good at staying awake when I want her to sleep. Pfft, I hear that. I hear that, buddy. Giza Rabbit, welcome. Thank you so much for jumping on here. Yeah, so this is like, I think this is the key to this game that people love, is you summon these pawns, and they fight with you. Uh, I, I'm going to learn more about them, but apparently you get them from online, and you can share them with different players online and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Verdu, Kai, welcome. Thank you for jumping on. 
This guy's still alive. Oh. Try to use these special abilities. Verdu, thank you so much for the congrats. Much appreciated. Oh, so somebody cast something. One of my allies gave me like a flame blade. That's awesome. Thank you, Unstable. Appreciate it. And that's also, that's neat to know. That's, that's cool. Is there another one in here? A survivor. Knife hold of one. Now, strike. Got him. Survivor, eh? Can I talk to this guy? You Sir Ashrore. We fought to inundate the worm with sheer numbers. A sea of blades? Twas a fool's hope. And the Duke's army is lost in the gambit. I beg you, sir. Grant vengeance to those who fought. If this be of use. Yeah, agreed, Giza. This is pretty legit. It actually kind of has a, a when you're playing it, it kind of has a feel or look right now like, like Skyrim, but it's refreshing to have a completely different look to the design style of the interiors because you get so used to that. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. You get so used to that uh, Elder Scrolls looking thing and it starts to get a little boring after a while. This need to change it up a little bit. Oh god, I hate harpies. Oh, everybody hates harpies. Don't let them drag you off. Don't let them drag you off. That's awesome. The flying beast arisen. Temple antechamber. Oh yeah, look at that. Come on with this. Route who? Oh. Ooh, I just took a shot right there. I still have this fire blade, which is pretty sweet. Oh, they grow frenzied. Ferocity. McGoogles. Um, so it's solo AI uh, party, from what I understand. But there is an online element to it, which I'm really curious about. So basically, the, the AI that you fight with actually exists online. So like when you uh, adventure with them, so like I, I have this Morgana and Quince right here, right? Adventure with these two, and then... I'm trying to swat this thing out of the air. Oh, God. Um, if I understand it right, when I'm not playing, these characters are available to other people online. And they can level up and stuff by playing with other people. And um, not just playing with other people, but they were created by other people. So at a certain point in this game, I'll be able to create a character that is called a pawn and is, can be used by other players online. Uh, I don't know. It sounds really neat, but I, I'm, I'm totally new to it. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Thanks for stopping in, April. Much appreciated. Good to see you. He's holding it down. So awesome. That is really cool. Oh. Oh, that's awesome, Unstable. That's cool. Hey, Kid Cable, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in. The dragon is through this door. But first, 
<laughs> what? What? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can we get a warning there? Look away. Look away. Oh, the Chimera, yeah. Oh, so awesome. We fought one of these back in the day. A classic episode. Oh, no. What happened? I got put to sleep. All right, so now I... Oh, we all got put to sleep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm being eaten alive. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, my gosh. Thought it would take a lot more damage than that, but that was pretty gruesome. Very cool, though. What is this thing doing? Icons, okay. That's snake tail, very dangerous. Uh, all right, let me try to use some of my special attacks here. I can charge in like that. I can do this sw back off and then jump in. That's pretty cool. Man, this really is like a... It's got this boss fight feel to it. Oh, they are like climbing on top of it. Wait, I can right trigger grab. Is that what you do? Oh, that snake. Snake tail. Can I grab it? Oh, nice. Climb up it. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, hack the, hack the goat's head. The ram's head. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is that when it puts me to sleep? Oh no, okay. This thing's got a lot of HP. This is a serious tutorial fight. Bobo, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, oh no, oh no. I looked away at the chat and then, oh, brutal. You let go of my pawn. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Cut off the snake. Doing heavy attacks here. Special attack. It does have this awesome, like, four person party thing going on. Very cool. I'll seal its magic. Little dispel. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Wow. That's a badass roar. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Jimbo Slice, what's going on? Welcome. Studying for the bar? Oh, my God. I'm going to die. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do I have... Oh, no. Can I not access my curatives? Curative? Oh, no, I can. All right, great. Let me get a, what's this? Cover a great deal of health. Yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. Cool. Oh, no. I'm in some sort of spell. Man, this thing is no joke. Look at it. It's putting my allies down. Oh, you know what? I got to wake them up. Oh, crap. I should have put up my shield. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't get to my allies. All right, now they're awake. Man, this is legit. Oh, that was a healing spell. Um, okay, awesome. So the mage. Man, wow. Get the goat. Get the goat. All right, yeah. I'm going to try to, let's try to climb on it and get this goat. Come on, come on. Climb, you bastard. Climb! Ah, oh, just threw me off as I got to the goat. Really want to get this thing's goat. How are how are we not? Oh my goodness! Look at my health again. This is a troubling foe, is right? Am I getting healed? Yes, I am getting healed. Oh, the sounds all like dulled right now as I'm in critical territory. 
You can kill the goat head separately. All right, let me give it a shot here. I really want to get on this thing. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, is that it? I got another heal off my mage. Yeah, this thing is still at it. It looks like the goat's dead, though. Yeah, goat's definitely dead. Can't hear what he's saying quite. He says, hit the lion with magic while it stopped or something. Oh, my God. This is awesome. This is like, oh, somebody gave me a fire blade. That's cool. Um... I mean, really, what it must feel like to fight a chimera. Uh, a pounce attack on my mage, no! Oh! Come on, come on! Oh! God, gosh, I'm gonna have to heal again. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> just in time. Woo! Brutal. Will do. Morning, Vicky Games. What's going on? Thanks for jumping on. Jimbo Slice. Has everybody caught up on the GCP? Ooh. Um, probably not, seeing as I intend to upload this on YouTube. So <laughs> there's about no way uh, to be sure of that. We all have questions about the last episode. That's right. As do I. The delightful and ever novel pleasure of a useless occupation. Intriguing. So yeah, from what I can from what I understand, these riffs or riffs like this, people like these pawns come through and they're uh, kind of random people that can appear and it's kind of online, but it's like through these riffs in the universe. This is not a pawn though. This is obviously a gigantic red dragon. So badass. Oh, look at like the fire in its heart. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. It's like it's being birthed from the rift. Okay, this is vague enough. Did anyone else get the vibe? And Joe, obviously, feel free to chime in. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Cut the mic, cut the mic, cut the mic. That Joe thought his choice was going to have a different outcome. Hmm. Excellent question. Well, I'll let you guys weigh in. I'm saying nothing. At least at the moment. I'm too busy enjoying a video game. A brand new video game. Probably the Storm Tyrant's Dragon. Yep. That sounds about right. Ooh. New character time. All right. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Please enter a name. This is you you guys know. This is where I always fall short, so what do you guys think? Let's throw it out. Let's throw it out to you guys. Any ideas? Any ideas on the name for this guy? I'm thinking I want to do like a a um just kind of like an Irishy looking dude. Heavy beard, thick hair, tall, kind of brawny fighter guy is the way that I'm going. Um, chime in, Ulrich. Not too bad. I like that name. It's a little uh, Viking for, for what I'm kind of going for. Garrick. I like that. <laughs> Just man. 
Just man. Hmm. <laughs> T Ragon. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll put that. I'll put that in the running. I'll put that in the running. <laughs> T Ragon. Bizin the Arisen. If we're going with your naming convention. <laughs> Lie the guy. Hmm. Come on. I want him to have a real name though. Something that strikes fear in the hearts of his foes. I mean, it would be lie the guy if I was coming up with it. Ral the pal. He's got to have some sort of... Um, hmm. <laughs> Skid. <laughs> oh, should we do a long-term adventure with Skid? <laughs> Greg. I could go with Greg. I kind of like that. <laughs> Panasonic. <laughs> Oh, but Norman. Norman's Horatius. Man, I like these. I like these. I kind of like Panasonic. How many characters do I get? Oh, only two more after that. Panasonic. Hmm. Let's see. Elric Fjörbjör. That was my last D&D character. I like that. I like that. Troy, if you want to inspire fear and hate. Hmm. How about Greg Norman? <laughs> <laughs> Greg Norman strikes fear in the hearts of his foes. Panasonic HD. That's good. That's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bobo. I guess you're talking about the glass cannon. I, I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I want to go with Greg Norman. <laughs> it really is so bland. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with Greg Norman. I like it. I like it. He's a Norman. Moniker will display for players with parental controls enabled. Um, all different levels in the GCP, Bobo. Bo, all different levels. What is this? Is weird. What, do you have to find your the name you picked on an actual list. Greg's on here. Greg? I guess now we could make him look like a Greg Norman. Ooh, a couple of big dudes. I think that's kind of what I'm going for. All right, uh, let's make a few detailed edits here. Yeah, I don't really think we really need to go down that road. Um, hairstyle, that's pretty good. I don't want to get too far into this. I kind of just want to play this game. I don't have a lot of time here. Uh, I think this is good. Um, I do want to check out his facial hair, though. If there's something I can give him a bigger beard. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Greg Norman. Maybe we should change the color of the hair too a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. No, not makeup. Color adjustment. Hair color. Make him a red, red, reddish head. Greg Norman. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like it. All right, let's. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. All right, let's play this game. Confirm. He looks like more like a D Ragon to me. Um Yes, I'm ready to play. So yeah, as far as the levels go, um 
yeah, there's, there's all different levels ranging from nine to 11 right now. The characters got on kind of different paths. So I'm Greg. There he is, Big Greg. <laughs> Town fatty. Meanwhile, what's going on with you guys? Ozark Beer Man, thanks for jumping on. Good seeing you. You made Tormund Giants Bane. <laughs> yeah, basically, I did. Only he's Greg, all right? He's not as weak as Tormund Giants Bane. This is Greg. Oh, he is a big dude. Dragon's got an eye for Greg. Look at him. He's really he's really targeting him. Bill Story, what's going on? Welcome. What did you do with the children? <laughs> yeah, I just left them alone at the playground. Without any sunscreen. It's like, deal with it. No, it is nap time. It is nap time. I also do have a my phone here. My wife's here as well, so she's gonna text me get off that stream <laughs> if needed it's quite possible it'll be needed but yeah i'm just chilling man i actually have been just doing stuff non-stop but had a little break here uh for nap time on a sunday and was like i want to i want to stream plus i just really want to try out this game yeah nap time is the best time it's it's like the golden hour of the day Whoa, that is awesome. Yikes, breath weapon. Reflex save. Failed. Ooh. Uh, Harbinger of Destruction. Challenge the dragon. Seems unwise. All right. What is going on here, Greg? Get it together. <laughs> I cannot hit this enormous dragon. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jimbo. Glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear you're liking androids and aliens. We are loving it. It is so much fun. Oh, I seem to have made a dent. Do what the quest paper says. Okay. Yeah, I like that, McGoogles. I'm, <laughs> honey, I'm working. There's that. What can I do? My hands are tied. This is just. I would love to help with the children. I simply can't. I must stream. Oh God, I love it when dragons talk. Their ancient arcane language. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty gruesome. Pretty much, kid. Pretty much. Let me take this new character out for a spin. Insta-critical kill. 
ripped heart out of chest. Eight heart. End of story. <laughs> That's right, Jimbo. I have a certain responsibility to all of you. I'm really excited to play this game. I gotta be honest. I am... I don't know. Something's telling me I'm really gonna like this. I don't have time to play a lot, but... When I do, I just... Or when I can get time, I, I need to play games that I'm, like, addicted to. And I feel like I could get addicted to this game. I mean, it's a pretty awesome start. Dragon comes to the town, rips your heart out, puts it on his fingernail, eats it, and then you wake up and you're alive. Come on. That is a pretty badass prologue. I'm assuming that's the dragon talking to him. If you would face me. Ooh. And now we get to the game. Momentary madness. That's what I'm talking about. Got to be reminded of these things every once in a while. I also like that it's controller compatible. Not much of a PC gamer, so it's nice to be able to rely on the controller. Win your heart back from the dragon. All right. All right, Greg, we're going to start Greg off as a fighter. Look at that. Doesn't he just look like a fighter? Well, actually, he could kind of be a strider with that beard. Or a mage. I think we've built him pretty well, you guys. I'm going to go with fighter. Uh, not a surprise to many of you, I guess. I do like me some martial characters. Plus, I have designs and ideas on this pawn that's going to come up. I think I want to do a caster pawn, so I think the pawn should uh, complement you. All right, that's like your potion. Ooh. Hey, stop talking about me. I'm standing right here. It's incredibly rude. <laughs> hey, kid. Oh, man. Um, no comment. No comment on that. I have thrown some dice already in the new space. <laughs> it's Troy, man. He does it to me. He makes me crazy. <laughs> Don't eat my heart. Say you'll love me again. They failed their politeness check. That's for sure. I don't know who this girl is exactly. You should be a bed. I Kina. Cuz. My cousin, Kina. Cousin Kina. What we got here? Some fruits vegetables uh i i did look up some beginner tips on this game just so i wasn't completely going in the dark and i hate starting these games and then playing like a complete idiot not that i won't play like an idiot at least to some ooh, a flask of water at least to some extent but i don't want to waste time uh going really far playing uh so stupid that you basically have to start over so just tried to look up some beginner tips and one thing said uh just take everything Grab everything, keep everything, because there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with uh, with your inventory in terms of combining and stuff like that. Rusty Scalpel, if I hadn't welcomed you previously, welcome. Yeah, why don't I just take her heart? I don't have to. Then I don't have to deal with that whole dragon business. Look at this, pretty cool, pretty cool for a starting town. Beachside, small starting village. Classic. Reminds me of Morrowind. How many people...
played Morrowind that are on here right now. I think a lot of people played Oblivion and Skyrim, but not I don't think as many played Morrowind. I loved Morrowind. I thought she was going to be Greg's wife. I did too. Hey, Greg's wife. What's it like being the wife of an amazing hero like Greg? Hey, take your time searching around for chests. Okay, noted. Should I take all buckets <laughs> and brooms as well? I don't want everybody to think I'm here to clean their houses. I'm here to clean them out, that's for sure. I have not seen my brother since the dragon came. All right. Let's... Did I already go in here? No. Ah, it's the inn. Beautiful. Giving them items. Here's a bucket. Do you like me better now? Here's the other thing I read. Go to the notice board. And uh, take all the quests. Apparently there's no limit to the quests that you can take. These all look like, yeah, defeat ten bandits, ten goblins, seven mice, five, slay five rabbits. So, all right, add those to the quest log. There's a bunch of stuff scattered around the beach. Let's see what we can find around here. <laughs> the dragon killed a lot of people. Let's take all their stuff. But hey, how am I supposed to get my heart back from the dragon unless I get some cool stuff? I don't see anything yet. Giving people items helps you reap the benefits in the future. Okay, interesting. What kind of items? Do I want to be giving like the high value items to these people? Am I supposed to bust these things open? Oh yeah, look at that, an eyedropper. What's that do? I like to clear these new tags so I know it's actually new. Oh, yeah. Actually, I will do a quick save right here. But what I meant to do was bring up the um, the inventory there on the... Yeah, this stuff. Interventive. Uh, carrot gives you health. Eyedropper. It restores sight to the eyes. Okay, so get rid of the blind condition, uh, condition. Lantern, ceramic jug, festival pie. Meant for throwing, not eating. How about I give that to one of these townspeople? Pie to the face. Ha ha ha. We're having fun. Go play tug of war with a 12-year-old. Classic. I guess I am supposed to bust open all these crates, huh? Ooh, chest. You were right. You weren't lying. Cloud wine? Cloud wine, a type of local spear combined with other materials to produce, produce aught of use. Affects a single target, restores some health, restores some stamina. Favored by Mercedes. Mercedes. Is that like a person in the town? What's up, Spartan Max 2? Welcome. This is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. It was on sale on Steam for $9.80 or something. And so I bought it and I'm checking it out. Harsebud juice. Small nut. Where's my harsebud juice?
I thought it was a curative. Did I miss it? Oh, well. Oh, I didn't pick it up yet. Duh. Okay. Man, there is stuff in here. Okay. Good to know. There you go, Greg. You show that crate. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, I thought I just picked up 2,000 gold in that crate. I was like, oh, my God. Totally uh, took advantage of an import-export uh, export vessel that was killed by this dragon. All right. Thank you for the tip on the stuff on the beach. That was legit. Anything in this little crevice here? Where's your spider venom? I love it. You will always find things of benefit here. Thank you, Glow, glow Boy. Like dried fish. Hey, where are the rest of the chests? There's talk of monsters emerging from the shadows all along the shore. Ah, thus go don't go too far into the water. Thank you. They say there are many, and yet one, whatever that means. Seems this brine can't be best at what's more. They say there are many and yet one. Some sort of hive minded fish. Empty flask. Cool. Can fill that with water somewhere. Should I? I don't know. Can I catch fish? Hell yeah, dude. Look at them quick, old quick hands Greg. That's what they call him. Old quick hands Greg. I already went over this side, didn't I? But you know what? I'll bust up these crates. Go into the town for now for more details. I never did look up what that harspud juice was. Harspud juice, a tonic liquid squeezed from harspuds, consumed to recover a fair amount of health and stamina. Dose of courage. Small fish, recover a bit of stamina. Okay, great. And then the empty flask, okay. All right, let's go into the town. Let's go into the town. I only have so much time here to play and I really would love to get out fighting. But I also don't want to put myself behind by not doing things. All right, let's see. Mm, I'm going to go up. I know there's some quests up here, so I'm going to go, up, uh, I think, up here. I'm going to go up here. Wait. Is this right? I don't think this is right. Ooh, this is the chief's house. Can you steal from the chief? Looks like it. Oh, is this where I just woke up? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Waste of time, Greg. I want to go to the chapel. That is the complete opposite side of town. Noted. All right. Let's take a long run across town. <laughs> Greg is, he's not the speediest sprinter in, uh, ca I would keep on to call it casting, but that doesn't sound right. Oh, I'm getting texts from Troy with pictures of the space. Ooh. We just finished a lot of work on the space last week. Um, I wasn't there for a lot of it, of course, but very exciting stuff, you guys. Yeah, here we go. What can I do for you? I will not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. I have news for Nerin. Dark news. I feel his brother is dead. His will brother is dead. I, I did not. I cannot face Nerin for the shame of it. Please. I will. Deliver the bad news to Marin and then this fella. Yo, Pat Lap, what's going on? Welcome. Grossly incandescent, welcome as well. Timetius, thanks for jumping on the old stream. Cassin is where Crypt or the Everflame is set. Yeah, exactly. That's, why, that's what's in my mind. It's not correct. 
Of course we can talk privately. Sensitive matter. I would ask your discretion. In the wake of the <laughs> I like that, Bellandora. Yes, bad knee. All my characters have a bad knee. Yes, I will find your scriptures. All right. Uh, oh. It was me. I confess it. I took the phone Lewis. from the chapel. I tried to go back and find the book, but I was in such a panic as I ran. I just wanted to look at it. Just curious is all. Forgive me. I cannot remember where I lost it. I thought to steal a glance and then return it, but the dragon came and I... I dropped it as I ran. Cor, what is I ought to slap this kid senseless. You don't see us steal the scriptures? Uh, all right, let me try this out here. I need to... Yeah. All right. Um, Grim Tidings. Let's do this one. I think, yeah, it'll show you on the mini-map where the quest is. Save us a little time here. Get right to it. <laughs> we are running poor Greg ragged. We'll drop a couple LBs before we leave town. Got it, got it, got it. Wait. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. What? Cortez is found? Ah, your brother died, man. Well. I'm so sorry. You win. I'm reinstalling the game. Yeah. All right. And here's the thing. I think if you reinstall it, can't you, like, if I make a pawn, can't you use my pawn? Or is that, like, too impossible to actually pull off? Is it, like, so random that you'll never actually uh, be able to choose the pawn of a friend? Just a thought. Critical Fumble, welcome. Critical Fumble Junk. I like that name. Good stuff. Oh, you know what? Before we go back, let's f find the scripture uh, as well and then turn them both in at the same time, you guys. Where is this? All right, so yeah, I'm cheating a little bit here because I did play this part uh, when I was testing out the game. And the scriptures are right here. Um, they're a little tricky to get to, so I'm just going to try to get to them. And then we can uh, move on. Oh, there's a chest right there. Wait, what is this place? Oh. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's see if we can get to that chest. Uh, in the meantime, there we go. I want to get to that roof right there, and I'm going to go over here. Oh! Oh, no! Greg! Oh, wow. Craig, you survived the fall. Nicely done. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> that was silly. Let's try this again. You can, ma you can make the jump. All right. <sighs> oh, wait. That ladder was down here, wasn't it? Where was that ladder? Is this it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I hope this is something sweet. Flamica, Flamica. Materials. A powder that easily catches flame. Combine it with other materials to produce out of use a combinable material. Okay, must be pretty sweet if it's on that little hidden ledge. Yes, you can. All 
All right. We'll get it right this time. Up and around to the lefty. All right. Calm down, Greg. Just calm down. Ooh, is that a plan I can take? Ooh, grants his herb. Let's get some herb. An herb common across the peninsula. Combine it to make aught of use. Great. Do a little drop here, and then boom, and then scripture. Okay. Let's return these. Whoa, I'm not afraid of falling because I'm Greg. Go into the chapel, turn in some quests. Where did you find it? I'm what are you doing running around on the roofs, you little punk? Please jump Please. off all the things. I want to find out if Greg is actually immortal. Oh, no, we already know he's immortal. We know that from his backstory, which has not yet been revealed, but I'm already coming up with it up here, and it is disturbing. Okay. I thank you, cousin. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. You're all right. Don't beat yourself up. Now give me 300 gold, and I'll forget I heard you. Coward. <laughs> Run away <laughs> over to the priest. I can't believe you let that guy in here. He's such a coward. How about I just give you the scriptures, because I'm a bad A. <laughs> Make it be praised. I cannot thank you enough. Cassidus. Cassidus. Not Cassidin. Or not Cassin. Cassidin is a hero in League of Legends. Level up, Greg Norman. You guys saw it first. Right here, live on air, Greg Norman, level two. Well done, Greg Norman. He sounds like a golfer. Okay, let's snoop around the chapel for stuff. Hey, what do you guys keep with the crates outside? <laughs> Just start shattering everything. Oil, huh? Cool. Ooh, green warish. Oh, there's a lot of green warish. This is like the healing plant. Oh, no. Mithril date is too. Bring about... Anything in here? No? Wow, this really is legitimately like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Hey, sorry for defacing the cemetery right in front of your face. All right. Got that chest. Oh, we never busted up those crates. Let's see if we can... Let's put on a show for, uh, is it Belladonna? Belladora. Bellandora. See if we can make some some long jumps here. Wow! Nice, Greg. Oh my God! Well done, dude. Anything? Flask of water. Hey, not gonna turn down water. Look. Oh, there's a chest over there too. Holy shnikes! Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can make that one. Might want to go up there and drop down. Oh! Nice save, Greg. Reflex save. Oh! Nope. Not immortal. Oof. Okay. That one hurt. Iola's house. Oh, man. This is bad. I didn't realize this game was going to be like this. How the hell am I supposed to get out of this town? I'm just going to keep climbing roofs and trying to steal everybody's stuff. Fisherman's house. Take your water. Thank you very much. Hope it's not rancid. I'm assuming uh, that wasn't your spittoon. All right. Let's. What's this door? Man, this does have that classic RPG feel of just going into random people's houses and stealing their shit. 
Joe Herbiter. Welcome, water thief. Yes, I'm a bit of a water thief. Oh, here's some more crates. This health... Ooh! A thousand gold? Whoa! That is ridiculous. Why are we congratulating Herbiter? My wife and I found out that we're having our third kid. Oh, congratulations. That is awesome. Congratulations. Man, it's exciting news. I'm in the middle of it right now, and it's an adventure. I'll tell you that. Glowboy, thank you for the follow. That is awesome. Much appreciated. I'm sorry. This is getting kind of annoying, isn't it? I could come back and do this off air. Let's move this story along. I don't know how to get up there yet. I'll figure it out. But it seems like the kind of game where I'm going to have time to just like come back and mess around with it. Grossly incandescent. Fantastic question. Head over to our YouTube channel. The fights that I had in that stream with uh, Dark Eater Madeer and Slave Knight Gael are on the YouTube channel. So check it out. You'll see how that all ended up. Who's this dude that just came out of the rift? What are you looking at me for, weirdo? Ooh, some unknown place. Some sort of spirit realm, perhaps? So they live as cell swords. They can't feel or act alone. Weird. Where men gather to fight the dragon. Well, then that's where Greg goes. Greg goes where everyone meets to fight the dragon. Make for the encampment. Okay. Will do. Would sure love to heal. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's amazing. Step within the area of healing light. Hey, Rook. You're cool with me, buddy. You sound oddly like a tutorial rook. You some sort of tutorial man? Um, you know what I am going to do? Uh, I'm going to leave and get to that encampment because I really want to get there. But I am going to go here to Estella's and I'm going to buy a sword. At least a sword. Should I buy a pickaxe now? You guys tell me. Whenever I see these in a game, I'm like, that means there's mining of materials. and But do, but sometimes I'll buy the pickaxe and then just find one six minutes later outside the village. Those of you that know what you're doing, let me know. I don't want to waste any cash. Iron sword, trusty sword. Oh, man. Wow, that's a big difference. 2,700, but I got 37. I'm sitting on a lot of Gs, yo. You need materials to upgrade weapons, buy the pickaxe. Do I buy the pickaxe at the expense of the sweeter sword? Buy it, you'll never find it. Great, thank you. Consider it bought in. There we go. Um, should I spend 2,700 gold on a, tr a, tr a trusted sword? Why is it like grayed out? What happened? Sorry. What did I do wrong here? What's going on, Aramil? Thanks for tuning in. Raleigh One Hand, what's up? You bought 13 pickaxes on accident. Did I really? No, I didn't. Cancel transaction. Wait, I already bought the pickaxe.
There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so what do I do? Do I go expensive sword or do I go more moderately priced sword and other tools? You bought 13 pickaxes. Okay. Fix that. Um, anyway, weigh in on this sword situation because I'm just not sure. Normally I'd go for the power, but I don't know. Is this the kind of game where like if you don't have the right tools or the right armor, you're much more screwed than if you don't have the right weapon? <laughs> Treat yourself. What's up, Saint Money 249? Thanks for jumping on the old stream. The old Sunday afternoon stream. My God. So many pieces of armor to choose from. Is this the game where you can climb on everything? Buy expensive sword. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with my gut and whatever Glow Boys tells me to do. Buy a really expensive sword. <laughs> and then equip it. Rusted sword, rusted, look at this, 94 to 168. Hells, yeah. Uh, what can I get for 750? Can I get any kind of armor? Traveler's shirt. Oh, that still is an increase. Let's do it. Oh, that's much better than a hideously bloodied, open-chested tunic. All right. Let's bounce. Oh, thanks, Rook. Appreciate the, appreciate the insight. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm being mean to Rook. All right, let's get out of here, Rook. I have a badass sword. Nothing can stop me now. What's up, Jay Combs? Welcome. How in the world did I find time to Twitch? Uh, I barely have time to Twitch. I'm just, I'm really, I'm sneaking this in. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> uh, but it is nap time. And my wife is kind enough to take care of the newborn for the moment. So I can, uh, so I can Twitch this. All right. We're getting close to the point where I do not know what happens next. Save the peddler. Yeah, we shall. I have a shiny new sword burning a hole in my sheath. Let's do this. Ooh, and now I have fire blade. Nice. Wow, that was awesome. Is that it? Whew. Greg is a tough dude when foes seem too much to handle. <laughs> Please. I think Greg has it under control. Careful, a goblin. Is this healing light? Oh, it's a fire shield. Goblin horn. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Was goblins on my on my quest list? Does anybody remember? Slay five rabbits. Ooh, defeat ten goblins. Three of ten. Beautiful. All right. Let's go, Greg. Sea breeze trail. Very nice. Oh, can I just walk, fall down to the beach there? Why do you keep lighting all my stuff on fire, Rook? Some shrooms. Oh, a rock. Kindling. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Joe, there's medicine for your burning sheath. Is that a bad thing? I thought this was a positive that my sheath is on fire. You'll find ore, plants, and other materials at harvest points. This road will have us to the encampment here much longer. All right, looks like we're coming up on it here. The famed encampment. Ooh, sleeper arrow. I like the sound of that. Though I don't have a bow. Yet.
Ooh. Ooh, level up. Okay. Oh, that's for getting to the encampment. All right. How many partners were you with before your sheath started burning? Oh, I just thought I had the one. Jeff Peppers, welcome. Right. Whoa, you look tough. Hello, I'm also tough. I'm Greg. If you've forgotten where you are in the story, select Chronicle from the pause menu. Cool. What's up, Rook? Yeah, okay. You are really not much of a conversationalist. Let's see what's going on in here. Command HQ. I like the sound of that. Have all you need? We are an inn first and foremost, but we offer more. We can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Have your pick. In you like. No, I will not rest for 300 gold. It's a little overpriced. What will it be today? See, I don't know anything about discipline. This is what you use to buy abilities. Broad cut. Cuts a broad swath of the blade while falling back to avoid attacks. Uh, I'm not going to spend this yet because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to get discipline. Oh, I just skipped that. Damn it. <laughs> how do you get discipline? What was that? If you get a woman pawn, they are usually wiser than the male ones. What does wiser mean in terms of like giving you quest updates and stuff? Well met, sir, Can you hear our voice? Yes. We speak to you from across great distance. You kill things for discipline. Thank you, Luigi Meister. Much appreciated. And welcome to the stream. The Pawn Legion has awaited you. <laughs> yeah, it is just kind of a talking rock. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. They help you on hard quests and give you info to beat quests. Thank you, Glowboy. If you would claim to be among the Riven Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. If you are an arisen in group, this humble task will prove no obstacle. Well, I am arisen. I have no heart. So, the fact that I'm walking around is already creepy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Call of the Arisen. Status. Greg Norman. Level 3. Fighter. 219 discipline. Oh, okay. What is blink strike? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Mm. That was close. I was, I was just practicing my skills. I'm so sorry. Walry Hand, thank you for the question. Yes, little Joe is doing well. Yes, he is the fourth. He is the fourth Joseph O'Brien. Okay, yeah, I know that. Uh, I don't know if I should learn new skills. But that quest said, show us that you're ready for self-improvement, which to me means do the... Is that a big ladder up to a chest? Let's see. Got to check it out.
Any chests up here? No. Well, what's the point of this thing? Uh, what? The town, the encampment's defense? Snore. All right. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, buddy. I went up all those stairs for... For what? Now I'm exhausted and my knee hurts. All right. I'm going to look at this quest. Call of the Arisen. Check the area around the encampment until you find a threat that must be quelled. All right. Okay. I can do that. Oh, that didn't take long. Rook Exposition. He comes from a great and noble line. <laughs> That's great. Um, there may be prowling monsters about. Okay. Gotta be honest. All right, this is completely new territory to me. I have no idea what I'm doing now. I have, I have not made it this far in the game. What is that? Oh my god, it's some kind of Cyclops thing. Am I really supposed to fight this? It has runes on its forehead. On its one-eyed forehead. Drive off the threat. I really wish I bought that weapon skill. Ah! Hey, stop looking at me. Oh, that was half my health in one swipe. As you take damage, the amount of health you can recover through the magic in the field also decreases. Indicated by a... Oh. Oh. That is very cool. That is very cool. What is that mechanic? Why do I know that? I know that from another game. Is that Divinity where it's like... No, 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 no. It's like... um, It's not Divinity. It's it's one of the ones that's like Baldur's Gate. And oh, man, How am I supposed to get close to this guy? Here we go. Back off. Um, yeah, it is a troubling foe. Hit him in the butt. Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay. Rook. Was that just healing light over there? Oh, there's goblins, too. All right. Uh, oh, crap. I didn't save my game. Um, oh. We need a curative. How much does this... Uh, am I crazy? What did I just do? Did I do something stupid? Did I just, like, heal my stamina? Purge of poisons. What an idiot. I thought that that was that mithril date or whatever. Green warish. A bit of health. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. I am afraid of you. Man, he killed all the guys already. Oh, Rook is down. Do I need to help Rook? Can I help Rook? Ah, okay. Very cool. Very cool. Like that. Whoa, Rook! Oh, no! Get out of there! Okay, okay. All right. Uh, back off. Oh, my God. Who is hitting him? This is a good guy. Rook, I'm coming. I'm coming. Help me. Can I get any? Okay. So, um, yeah, I can't remember. What was that game? Was it uh, the... Ooh! Did I get him? Oh, I think we got him. Somebody hit him right in the eye with an arrow there. That was a good shot. Press right trigger to grab. Okay. All right. That was a good call. I should have grabbed him earlier. Sorry. I wasn't watching the, your, the chat. I was too busy trying to not die! Report. Let us return to the encampment. Uh, Pillars of Eternity. That was it. Isn't Pil Pillars of Eternity the one where it has that mechanic? Like you can, you can keep healing, but at a certain point, like you, you can magical healing, but you have to rest at a certain point, or you're just going to. You can only heal so much while you're out in the field. I like that. I like the idea. It's kind of like the stamina, HP mechanic from Starfinder.
hey, I'm, I'm all about self-improvement. <laughs> Please help me. Speak to him. Speak with him to rest and heal your wounds. Learn and be able to... Okay. Okay. Very cool. Shall we search the area? A rich stone. With that, the trial is... All right. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. That'll never happen. Nice arrow to the eye. That's right. Heavy Metal, welcome to the stream. I hadn't seen you before. You are the Proven beyond any doubt. Okay. So now I think we choose a pawn. Pawn customization. Set the look of your constant companion throughout your journey as arisen. Your main pawn. All right. So I have an idea here. Man, they were talking about uh, pawns coming from some other plane to help people wherever. Boom. No doubt in my mind. Now, will they have this in stock, ready to go? Highly doubt it. What am I going to do? How am I going to even get close? Oh, nope, that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> Gooky? <laughs> uh... Gloria, <laughs> Juliana, mm. Cookie. That's frustrating. Um. <laughs> Gina, Gina, Gina's gonna come and help you. Uh, what should we call her? What's the all right, I'll just call her Gloria. Gloria or Ginny? Let's go Ginny. They don't have a Gorms for short, sadly. The pawn's true name. Select a base body. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's cool. She's pretty standard humanoid, so... Let me go here. Ooh, this is important, isn't it? Type three it is. Man, I need to make some edits. Are you kidding me? All right. No, I don't need to do preset faces. Let's do... Hairstyle, what's the what's the wildest one we have here? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty wild. All right. Um face shape. Oh, there we go. I like that one. Uh eyes, brows, nose, mouth. Man, this is hard to do. I need more about coloring, isn't it? Uh I think the body seems fine with me. Oh, we could check out stance. Posture imposing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now she's definitely imposing. Stance. Ladylike versus macho. Oh, she's ladylike. Make no mistake. And I don't think I need to edit the body that much. Um make a color adjustment here. I think we got to have... She's got some grayish hair, right? Yeah, and we just give her, like, white hair. You will probably want to do some research off-stream about the advanced classes and how changing classes or multi-classing works in this game. Thank you, Cantankerous Ordo. I do appreciate that. Um, I will, I promise get head splitter um oh there we go 
That looks pretty good, right? Kind of a bluish gray. That's how I imagine. I mean, I imagine more of a salt and pepper, but I don't know. Always have one mage, one rogue, two warriors. Man, these tips are invaluable. Variations on gray. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go here because I don't think I can get a good salt and pepper going, unfortunately. Skin color looks fine. Makeup color. Can we go a little darker? Yeah. There we go. Eye color. Do you remember what her eye what color her eyes are? I don't know. Uh, you guys, I'll throw it out to you. You you let me know. Young Gormley or old Gormley? Throw it out. Because if it's young Gormley, I'll probably go like black hair. Uh, either way, I kind of want to give her like purple eyes, right? I mean, I don't want to just make her a freaking Targaryen, but... I don't know. Maybe were her eyes blue? I can't remember what he said. Got a few votes for old here. Kind of like the idea. Should we do black eyes? No, that's Delanarn. Ooh, maybe we could do like a like a yellow eye or a green eye. Thank you for the follow, May 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 L seven. Is that right? May L. Thank you so much. All right. Um, red eyes. Don't want her to be evil, but I'm just gonna do. Oh, blue eyes is so standard. Come on, O'Brien up with something original in your life. I like that light purple. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. Thanks for the cheer. I can't see who that was. Who was that? Kid Cable, well done. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, wrinkles. There we go. Yes. That's a little much, but let's give Gorms a couple wrinkles. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Shall we give her some scars? We really don't have to have the cross the whole face scar, do we? Ooh, man. Oh, I kind of like that one. She's been through it. Yeah, I like it. Gorms. She has been through it. Uh, all right. I think we're good. Oh, we have a vote for green eyes. Yellow eyes are more intimidating if you're trying to scare people. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Everybody uh, sound off here. Yellow or green? Yellow or green? And this, I mean, this Gormley is going to be around forever. And a lot of people are going to see her online. So that's why we want, oh, shoot, wrong one. That's why I want to make sure this decision's right. Yellow or green? Shout it out. pretty good it's a deep green it's a lighter creepy green I think it's between these two yellow green yellow green keep going back and forth but I think I got a few more yellows that's more of a gold this is more of a yellow I think all right or was this one now let's go here yellow all right yellow takes it well done. Look at that. That's a good-looking Gormley, I think. Yes. Oh, okay. Awesome. This is really fun. When faced with danger, which trait would you most value in a follower? Iron will. Quick thinking, careful preparation, the charisma to lead others. I think I got to go iron will. Well, I mean, I don't know what this is mechanically. You guys in here that know this game, we can probably just spout it right out, but I don't want to do this based on metagaming, though. Certainly not careful preparation, uh, if I know Gormley. Gormley just got in there, got right into the thick of it. I got to go Iron Will. And while in battle, which strategy would you prefer your follower to employ? Kill all enemies, rescue comrades in danger, strike at the strongest foes, call for reinforcements. Um... Strike at the strongest foes. Call for reinforcements. Mm, what does Gormley do? She kill, well. She always like did uh, battlefield control stuff. 
Battlefield control stuff. Maybe do rescue comrades in danger. That's just another way of putting it. Um, maybe not necessarily healing, but... Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the empire. Your follower rescues your party and turns the tide of the entire battle. What would you have them say? Leave them to me. Now, Master, strike the final blow quickly after them. Turns the tide of the entire battle. Mm, Gormley would probably say leave them to me, but she wouldn't say master. Yeah, I like that. Quickly, after them. As a ruler, which gift would you pl would please you the most? Oh. A brave and just hero to succeed you, the perfect spouse, a majestic white steed, a magic person that... Brave and just hero to succeed you. Yeah, that's what I got to go with. Select vocation, fighter, strider, mage. Mage it is. All right. We're really doing it. And not taking too, too long, I hope. <laughs> she did force a lot of potions, Belladonna. You are correct. I keep calling you Belladonna. Sorry. E-Girl Wonder, welcome. Sorry I didn't see you there earlier. I was in the midst of creating the Gorms. Oh, look at this. Come on. Out of the ether. Yes. I love it. Wow. This really is very strange. They're like mindless. Well, they're not mindless. They're like soulless. They're not soulless either. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's not too bad, Jay. That's not too bad. Ooh. Having been recognized as Arisen, you have been granted a loyal pawn to be your constant companion in your journey. In addition to this main pawn, you may hire up to two other pawns to support you in your adventures. Different pawns have different strengths, so use support pawns to tailor your party to fit your current needs. And so I want to try for two, fight, two warriors, a rogue, and a mage, right? In addition to minding level and available skills, a pawn's knowledge is another important part of creating an effective party. Pawns with appropriate knowledge of quests or foes can help provide helpful advice and battle strategies. Good, because I need those. What is RC? Plus 10 RC. Brew boy, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for jumping on. There are ways to pick up specific pawns from players. My pawn is online somewhere, but it's like level 190 or something. <laughs> yeah, Luigi Meister, you're out of, out ahead of me on this one. Maybe one of these days I'll catch up. All right, I don't know what to do now. I think I should sleep, but he should be so lucky. Okay. Oh, so all my quests right now are kill a bunch of things. I don't have any main quest line. Oh, here we go. Ah, a master and his pawns. Sir Burn. Oh, hello, Sir Burn. You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. Mind you, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. I can help in that regard, should you wish it. If you have friends, you can get access to really strong pawns. Very cool. How do you make friends? You mean like real life friends? Or like giving people gifts in the game? The men of the enlistment corps never turn away the eager we are ready to begin. Are you? Begin training? Let me be clear from the outset. You'll complete three forms. Each serves to hone a different quality. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. Hmm. There Interesting. Are other forms here. The first task He's is carrying, carrying freight. Haul the lot of them. Before. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task many hands lighten any will begin as soon as you're prepared your I don't understand what I'm doing all of the freight before my count ends I don't know what to do RC and rift crystals currency RC are rift crystals currency in the game apparently thank you e girl wonder much appreciated real steam friends got it thank thank you cantankerous I'm on it to rent pawns from people you don't know 
in our higher level than you, you'd have to spend currency to rent a friend's pawn. It is free. Awesome. Well, we got to get some steam friendships going on here. First test. Oh, shoot. I'm on a timer and I don't know what I'm doing. Gormley, look at that. Oh. Where are the crates? Oh, Gormley already got this one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gormley's doing all my work for me. Come on. Calm down, Greg. Calm down. What's up, Just the Bard? Thank you. Oh, here's one. Grab. Jump. Run. Run. Hey, Gorms. <laughs> that is awesome. Where where am I supposed to put these? Ah, okay. Put down. There we go. Enough. I think I disappointed him. Well done. Oh. Meet each challenge with that vigor. Okay, thank you, Gormley. You'll face my scarecrow. A large group will be of help again. But a company all doing the same thing is less effect. We'll begin as Cool. Classic party mechanics. Now this I can do. Destroy the scarecrows. Yeah, you will, Gorms. Yeah, you will. I can't really see them. I should have done this during the day, I think. I think we did it. I think we did it, you guys. Last, you'll be destroying more scarecrows. There are two sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steal and brute. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike very your party and your tactics until you find them. We'll begin as soon as you're prepared. I'm ready. It's back to the scarecrows for your last meal. Okay. How do I know which ones are which? Uh, weak to magic, okay. Weak to physical here. Well. Wow. Alright, there's one. Alright, that one's down. Alright, I think we got a nice mix here. Yeah, that's right, Greg. Oh, wait, is there one up high? Oh, nice. That's pretty sweet. We have All right. Enough! Enough! This guy's angry. He's an angry elf. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's Greg and Gorms right there. All right. 1,000 XP. Nice. I will take it. And level up. Level 5. This is moving quick. And Gorm's level's up to level 4. I love seeing that. Look at that. All right, so I have two mages right now, it looks like. Um, all right. I think I want to... How much gold do I have? Where do I find that out? Sorry. Actually, I should probably save. You can go and you can go and pick up another pawn or switch out rook anytime. The more pawns, the less experience you get, though. Okay. Yeah, I think I just want to try to go with Gorms for a little bit. Uh, oh, I have three thousand one hundred or nine hundred and ten gold, so I could probably rest. But I have full health. Can I just? Is it fine to just like hang out all night? Or do you get like fatigued or something like that if you don't? properly rest also how do i know what time it is like is there a way for me to know when dawn how long until dawn there's sir burn what's up buddy oh they're just collecting things pawns will collect and use items 
excuse me, of their own volition. All right, good to know. Oh, this is a pawn, right? Oh, I could give Mercedes this booze, right? Not my Gormley. You watch what you say. She will f*** you up. There's no way besides the sun. Thank you, Globe Boy. Good to know. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Uh, it's kind of, it's not having a heart. So if you want to get a dragon to rip your heart out of your chest, you could be as cool as Greg. But until then, step off. Yes. But don't go too far away, Mercedes, because I have a gift for you. Oh, God, I'm so hungover. I was drinking with Mercedes all night. Oh, no. What? Is this another chimera? Oh, no, it's just the snake. Oh no, some kind of Hydra? Don't even think about it. I am only level five. Oh my god, uh, Gorms. What? What? It is a Hydra. Oh, I was blocking, but it didn't matter. It took me in its mouth. Take aim at the head. Really wish I learned that weapon skill. I'm just assuming I'm doing something. Oh dear. Oh, that, I knew that was going to be bad. What the heck, man? Wow, this is amazing. Look at this. All right, I'm not doing any damage there. Where's Gormley? Gorms, help me. Wow, this is awesome. Well, that was three swings for nothing. Are my uh, special attacks, do they always do more damage than the light attack or slash heavy attack? Oh, I wasn't doing any damage, was I? I needed to back up. Aim for the head. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get it now. I thought I was aiming for the head. It was just the, the lower part. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come down at me. Come down here. There we go. Okay. Got one. Got one. I did it. I did it. Oh, God. I never grab. You're right. Whoa. That scared the shit out of me. This really is a horrible place. Momentary madness. You're not wrong. No direction. What's going on? Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, this place is awful. But I do like how, I mean, we've already seen three classic monsters. Chimera, Dragon, and Hydra. And no joke ones. That's cool. How have I never heard of this game? Just the Bard. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I never even heard of it. And then I just, I bought it. Well, I mean, I put it on my wish list because I saw that it was super highly rated, but I had never heard of it. And then uh, it went on sale, so I bought it. I asked Skid if he heard it. He was like, nope, never heard of it. But it seems like people love this game. I'm not sure what I'm accepting. I think that I took a quest on, I assume. Yeah. A rude awakening. Uh, and another level up. That's pretty awesome. Regroup with Sir Mercedes. But is that her? No. No. 
Um, I want to give her something off with its head. Under Mercedes commands, you set up across the mountains for the capital of Grand Soren to present the Hydra's head to the Duke. That is pretty cool. Um, just reading what you, your guys' thoughts on the game. Uh, all right, do I want to leave this encampment already? Uh, can I tell Rook to just like get lost for a while and try to play it with two characters, or is that just stupid? Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. Let's see. Actually, yeah, let's see. I need to get out there. Oh, look, I'm only two goblins away. I need to get out on the road, kill some goblins. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just try to do this. Do want to save, though. Later, Momentary Madness. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, definitely look for Gormley. It might be under the name Ginny, but keep an eye out. All right, let's see. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, if we travel up that way, I think we're bound to... What is this one? What's this purple? Hmm... What is that purple loop? What's the purple loop? He girl wonder. Thank you. Yes, I'll get on it. The purple is the DLC quest. Got it. Thank you. All right. I will cycle back around to that. For now, though, let's try to do this. Let's try to do one more quest before I got to go here. Maybe I can kill a couple goblins. No, oh, it's Elvar. What's up, buddy? What was it? It's been dispatched then. Uh, hold a moment. Is Kina not with you? Where is Kina? She was said to leave the village in search of art for your wounds. I thought you accompanied her. Shady business. What happened to Kina? Any idea where she might be off to? No sturdy business. A new area has been unlocked. Visit the Kasardi Pier at night if you would see it for yourself. Oh, I guess that's probably the DLC. So I'm gonna guess. Can I get around the encampment? Yeah, there we go. This is the road I want to take. Gormley's collecting berries for me. Let's go. You two, you two kids. <laughs> Kaiju Kyle, what's going on? Thanks for jumping on. Good to see you. I don't know, man. I'll tell you. This looks pretty great to me. I mean, you know, it's no Skyrim, but it certainly ain't no slouch. Just has a good, I mean, the shadows leave a little something to be desired. And I have to play it at a slightly lower frame rate. I, I don't know why. I have a good computer. I don't know why this happens with my stream. I have good connection too, but I was testing it out earlier and it was real jumpy when I had it at a higher frame rate. Is there a fight happening somewhere? Gormley seems all fired up. Okay. Let's follow the road here. I don't know what we're fighting. Oh! Dear sweet. Okay. Oh, dear. Wow, all these wolves. Get out of here, buddy. Yes! Wolf pelt. Fire works well. Good job, Knowledge Nate. Capcom used this game to learn how to do modern PC ports. Uh, oh my god! 
god. I was reading the damn chat. All right. Vocation rank increased. Gormley. That's awesome. Yeah, they do. That was a cool little combo from Greg. Yes. Another wolf pelt. I'll take it. What are these guys? Another wolf. Get away from Gorms. Get away from Gorms! Man, there are a lot of them, huh? Level up Greg Norman. <laughs> yes, I love even just seeing his name. Wow, there are a lot of wolves here. I wish I had a quest for kill 100 wolves. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Rogues and archers are the best. Yeah, I am more of a classic gamer in that sense. I do love sword and board style. It just makes me feel like a, you know, a knight. Hey, are you guys just watching us fight wolves and doing nothing? Oh, no, they're bandits. Oh, shoot. I'm going to try to save. Is, can I save? Oh, no, I can't. Can I? No. Very clever. Okay. All right. I think we have a real fight on our hands here. That's my guess. Oh, God, I'm getting riddled with arrows. Oh, I did not knock him down. Oh, I missed. Oh, man. I just don't want anybody killing Gormley. Oh, there's their mage. Take out their mage. Yes. Mage down. Oh, killed below his con. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I just died. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't yet. Oh, my God. This is for real. that archer out of here. All right, got a Gorm's got a heal off on me. Oh crap, he's on my 6. Oh my god, these guys. Yeah, they attack in quick succession, is right. Who is hitting me? Oh, this great sword. Oh my god, this guy. He is a beast. Get away from Gormley. Oh, he's blocking. Good job, fella. You win this round. Oh, man, my chest is pounding. Look at that. That's the max heal I can get is to about half HP. Keep watch on your surroundings. They hold threats and trends alike. Um, all right. I am going to... I can hear my daughter, so I am going to clear uh, some of this up, and then I got to stop. So sadly, that was really fun. That was an intense combat, and now I feel like I need to rest already. Did they p already pick up the coin pouches? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to stop it here, but man, gr I thought that was a great first look at this game. I really enjoy it. I'm um, having a good time. Look at old Greg. There he is. Oh, look at Gormley. Greg and Gorms. Killing it. Quite literally. Just took out a horde of bandits, uh, but I am going to stop there for today. Hopefully I will be jumping on with this again. Uh, and I'll put it up on YouTube as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can keep going with this because I, I really did enjoy that. Thanks to all of you that tuned in last minute on a Sunday for a, for a stream. Rollery, it was great to see you too. Cantankerous, appreciate all the advice. Glowboy, I mean, thank you guys so much. Uh it was oh the horse bride. I didn't even know you were here. Aramil, what's up? Uh, it was great seeing everybody. Have a terrific rest of your Sunday, and I will catch you guys on the next stream. See you. <laughs>